welcome back. I'm Annie from Hooks and Healers and I am so excited about today's video. I've recently had a lot of you guys ask me about my favorite crochet hooks, the ones I love and the ones not so much. So I thought that this would be a really fun video to make where we're just going to tier rank some of the most popular crochet hooks, some of the most well-known ones, and the ones that I have also used. So I'm not including everything in this video, but these are just the ones that I'm most familiar with, I know quite a bit about, I've had some experience with. And really quick before we start, I just want to let you know if you disagree or you would rank these crochet hooks differently, that's totally fine. In fact, I'd love if you mentioned in the comments below what you think you would rank these and maybe even the ones you disagree with me on. I'd love to know what your favorite crochet hooks are and the ones you personally don't love as much. So yeah, I'd really love to know what you guys have to say about your favorite and least favorite crochet hooks. And and I think we are ready to get started now. So first, let's start off by talking about my different tier rankings. I'm really proud of these puns that I have, so I hope you guys like them. They're kind of cheesy, but... So let's get that tier ranking up on the screen now. I need to grab my glasses. We need glasses. We have our iced latte. And most importantly, I have my laptop here where I'm going to look at all of these. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Our first category is I'm hooked. So these are the crochet hooks I absolutely love. They're the ones I don't put down. I use them all the time. They're in my regular rotation. And then second is wooly good. <laughs> so those are crochet hooks that are also really good. They're maybe just like a step below the um, I'm hooked crochet hooks. They're good. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just not the ones I pick up quite as much. Um, and then our next category is there's Crotential. You see what I did there? Sorry guys, I know it's really cheesy and bad, but I'm having fun with this. So these are the crochet hooks where they're good and they have that potential to be really great, but they're usually, there's gonna be something wrong with each of these that I'm gonna mention in this category. So there's that. And then the last category is a real crochet. And these are the ones that just let me down in one way or another. There's something seriously wrong with them that just kind of bugs me. And by kind of bugs me, I mean really bugs me enough to, you know, not want to pick them up like ever again. So those are our categories. And I think we have 10 crochet hooks to talk about today. So I think that should be plenty of hooks to talk about. And I'm sure we can revisit this video in the future and add some more as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first up we have the Clover Soft Touch. This is a classic crochet hook. You see this in a lot of craft stores. A lot of people don't like this and I'm not sure why. So personally, I think I'm going to put it in Wooly Good because there's nothing wrong with it. It's inexpensive. I've never had an issue with it. Personally, I really like the handle of this one. And yeah, I'm kind of confused why it gets the hate that it does because I feel like you hear a lot of people say that it's bad. But personally, I think it's really nice to work with. It's a great affordable option and... Yeah, it's like one of the first crochet hooks I ever used and I've always liked it. Like it, it always gets the job done. It's, it never gives me any serious issues. So take, do with that what you wish. I'm curious what you guys think of this one because I feel like it kind of gets a bad rap sometimes. So next we have the Loops and Threads Aluminum Crochet Hook or this basically any aluminum crochet hook. Susan Bates, I feel like they're all pretty similar. Um, it's just your classic affordable aluminum. And this is going to also go in Wooly Good because you can't go wrong with aluminum. It's great for when you're starting out. It's nice to just have something really simple and affordable. And, you know, it's never really going to give you any problems. Like, it's not going to really break. Like, you can't do anything to it, really. And it's it never has failed me. It has yet to fail me, guys. So if you're a beginner, that's a great hook to start with. Loops and Threads is Michael's, like, house brand. So, yeah, you can find those at Michael's. They have them at pretty much every craft store, but... Yeah, I think they're good. I'm curious what you guys think. Like, they're good. Is there anything wrong with them? No. I don't I don't think there is. So let me know what you think. Okay, next is the Furl Streamline. And if you've watched my videos, I think you know what I'm gonna say about this hook. I love it. First of all, I'm a person who just really enjoys aesthetics and yeah, aesthetics matter to me. I love cute things cute things make me very happy and the frill streamline come in so many pretty colors 
So that's already like adding some bonus points, right? But they're also just so nice to work with. Like they're they're very ergonomic. The handle's like quite large. So it makes it pretty easy to work with. It really, I have noticed, prevents a lot of like wrist pain. Like when I'm working on something larger, like this blanket behind me, I made with a furl streamline hook and it's just super enjoyable. So obviously, for obvious reasons, guys, that is gonna go in I'm Hooked. It is in my regular rotation. I'm constantly using them. I just love them. There's something so fun about them and they just look so cute on my desk too. Like I have them in a little pot and they're just adorable over there. So next is the Yarnology Luxury Crochet Hook. And this is, Yarnology is, um, it's Hobby Lobby's like house brand. And I see a lot of people use this. And honestly, I have some thoughts. First of all, you know, because of the name, right? They're using the word luxury here. And I think it's a misuse of the term to say nicely. It's affordable. I think this hook is like $2. So you can't hate on them like too much, but it's not a luxury crochet hook. Um, another thing is the number on the side that says the size number is really, really small. It's hard to see. It is pretty like how it has the little flowers going down the side. So I'll give them points for that. But I'm also just not a huge plastic hook girl in the first place. I'm curious if you guys like plastic hooks, but personally, they just, they're not for me. They're just not, I don't know what it is, um, but this one specifically, it's a real crochet, guys. It's It really is. I know a lot of people probably really like this one. I'm not the biggest Hobby Lobby girl to begin with, but this hook was a letdown for me. It sits on my desk, and I don't think I've ever used it since the first time, at least a couple years ago. It's just, it just doesn't do it for me. I mean, I don't really know what else to say, you know? Like, I'm not sure what it is about plastic. Maybe you guys will be able to help me figure out what my thing is with plastic crochet hooks, but I don't know if it's like the drag on them. It's just nowhere near as enjoyable as like a metal crochet hook or something like that. I mean, there are going to be some plastic hooks on this list where I do like them and you're going to have to stay tuned to see what those are. But for the most part, it's just not doing it for me. Okay, so our next crochet hook is Furl's Odyssey. And this crochet hook is an exception on our list because I have not gotten my hands on this hook. And there's a good reason for that. So before I rank this, let's talk about that. So Furl's Odyssey has been known for having like supply chain issues. They're like regularly out of stock and Furl's hasn't been able to kind of like keep them in stock. It's very rare they're like actually putting them out just because I'm not exactly sure the issue, but there's some stuff going on with them. And oddly enough, um, before I started filming today, they just released a statement saying that they're discontinuing um, Furl's Odyssey for a handful of reasons. Um, and they're kind of, you know, they're almost like the unicorn of crochet hooks, <laughs> if you will, because they're really hard to get your hands on. But like most people agree they're pretty awesome. So I have yet to try one of these and I'm kind of sad about that. I really do want to get my hands on them. I think that the day I'm posting this video, actually, they're doing, they're supposed to be doing another drop of these, like one of their final drops of Furl's Odyssey. So I'll have to keep you guys updated if I manage to get my hands on them during that drop. I have it in my calendar. Uh, but yeah, so that's a bummer, but they are coming out with some new crochet hooks that are supposed to be even better than Odyssey. So I'm curious and we'll have to include those on a future tier list, but for now I'm going to put Furl's Odyssey in the there's credential category because although I have not tried it, I feel very strongly that I would love this crochet hook. I mean, for obvious reasons, it's beautiful, it's ergonomic, and it's also metal. I have a thing for metal crochet hooks because they just stitch so seamlessly, they're so enjoyable to work with. So. This is something I really would love to try at some point and fingers crossed that I get it on Monday, the day I'm posting this video. So our next hook is the Clover Amore, which you guys have seen me use in the past. I really love this hook. You can't really go wrong. It's super nice to use. There's really nothing wrong with it. And most people would agree it's probably like the best crochet hook to use all around. I will say their price point is not great for beginners. I had someone mention in one of my last videos that there are more affordable hooks that are very similar. 
um, and I completely agree. It is a hook I reach for relatively often, although it doesn't stand out in any like really crazy way to me. And for that reason, I'm going to put it in our wooly good category because I really do love it and I use it very often. So it could be in the I'm hooked category, but it's going in wooly good, which is still good. It's a very good crochet hook. So next we have the crochet light and you guys might be familiar with this if you shop at Joann's and Michael's regularly. I see it there a lot and this is one of the first crochet hooks that I ever tried. It's known for the clear tip that and it also has like batteries and a switch and you basically can turn it on and it's supposed to act as like a light that helps you crochet right so like you know if you're crocheting in a dark setting it's supposed to be like helpful for that I guess and I don't know what I think about this one. This is a tough one because this is a hook that I actually still find myself using a lot just because I, I do like the shape of the handle. Like I find it easy to work with, especially because this is a plastic crochet hook, um, which is strange <laughs> that I do kind of like it. But I will say the the light mechanism, I've, I've never used it. It's very not good like if anything it actually makes it harder to crochet because the light is so bright that it almost like does that thing to your eyes where you feel like you can't really see for a second um so that part of the hook is a fail the light aspect is definitely a fail for me personally i'm curious what you guys are going to think about this one but um the handle itself is good there's not really anything wrong with it even though my dog has chewed the tip of this crochet hook, I still use it for some reason. Like, why do I do that? Why am I doing that? Like, I have so many crochet hooks. I don't know. So there must be something that keeps me coming back to this hook. Really, it's not awful, but I, I think that the idea of having a light in a crochet hook is so interesting, but we haven't really seen anyone do that well yet. And I would love to see, like, some type of really cool crochet hook where it has some sort of light feature that actually... Is helpful. I've yet to see that though. So for that reason, I'm going to put it in there's potential because I really do believe there's some potential with this idea. I have not seen it done right, basically is what I'm saying. So I'm curious what you guys think of crochet hooks with lights in them because you know, I don't really think that having a light in your crochet hook is necessary, especially when we have things like the flashlight that we hang around our necks to light up our workspace while we're sitting on the couch at night or something like that. But I feel like it could be done right and people would enjoy it. I, don't ask me though. Like, I don't know how you would do it, but maybe, maybe like there might be a place for it in this world. Who knows? So our next hook is the loops and threads ergonomic aluminum hook. And this is something one of you guys mentioned in one of my last videos. And if that was you, thank you. Shout out to you. Um, but yeah, this crochet hook, I actually do think it's pretty similar to Clover Amore. It's definitely a lot cheaper. If you're a beginner, this is probably way more up your alley than investing in the Clover Amore hooks. I will say I've used these for years and some of my older ones, the handles actually like started to slip off the actual hook and even wear down almost like an eraser, which is kind of interesting. And it gives me that like eraser feel on my fingers. But again, it's like for the price, it's really not bad. Um... They're still pretty good, I'd say all around. Like these are gonna last you a while, especially if you're trying to figure out if you like to crochet even. So for that reason, I think this is gonna go in Wooly Good because it's honestly up there with Clover more. I mean, when you consider price and stuff, I can handle I can handle the bad parts of the loops and threads for the price. So I'm sorry, Clover more. But again, loops and threads is the Michaels brand. So next we have Tulip. I believe it's pronounced Edimo. Yeah, the Tulip Edimo. And man, I feel like you guys are already gonna know what I'm gonna say about this hook. I love it so much, I really do. I really think it might be my all time favorite crochet hook. First of all, it comes in a few different colors. I have this red one that you can see here. Um, they also have it in like a really pretty pink and they also have a black handle with a gold tip, which is so lovely. Um, but I love the red. There's something so cool about the red tip and handle. And I actually use this crochet hook to make this cardigan that I'm wearing right now. And I have nothing but good things to say about this crochet hook. 
I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but personally, I like it better than the Clover and more. I think it's just fantastic. I love the handle and the tip of this crochet hook just slightly more than the Clover and more. I find myself reaching for it all the time, again, because I'm a girl that appreciates the aesthetics of things. I love the all red. There's just something about it. It's just, it feels so luxurious, but so nice at the same time. It's just truly so nice to work with. Part of the enjoyment, actually a huge part of the enjoyment of crocheting is just the rhythm that I get into. And when things are just like flowing, I'm stitching along and everything's great. And the Tulip Edimo really does allow that to kind of happen more naturally for me than most other crochet hooks. And so for that reason, you already know what I'm going to say. But that's going to go and I'm hooked. It's just so good. It's just... It's just the best, guys. Like, seriously, if you're going to get one crochet hook set, it's pricey. I think I should mention that. This crochet hook is pricey, okay? But for good reason. It's so pretty. It's lovely to work with. It's It doesn't get better, I don't really think. Furl Streamline and Tulip Edimo, they are my top tier crochet hooks, the loves of my life, the best of the best, and <laughs> I hope I've convinced you at this point with my words how much I love these crochet hooks. So now we're on to our final crochet hook for my tier ranking, and I, I saved the juiciest for last, you guys, because my opinions on this are... <laughs> They're not the norm. They're not what I'm seeing everybody else say, which I think is super interesting. You know, I see a lot of like bigger crochet creators like saying some feelings about this crochet hook that I don't agree with and I find very confusing. So I want to know what you guys think. But this hook is the Prim Ergonomics and I have never felt so strongly about a crochet hook in a not great way. So... I don't know what it is you guys like I feel bad but like there's something about this hook where every time I use it it's like it's like nails on a chalkboard to me almost like it genuinely hurts my brain like I think it's the drag there's something about the finish of the plastic you already know that me I'm not I'm not a plastic crochet hook girl okay we know that by now but this this is like a different level you guys like there's something about it like that finish of the tip of this crochet hook it's so it's almost like not sandpapery, but it's just really not smooth. And so whenever I use it, I just find myself getting really irritated because the drag it makes on my stitches is just, to put it honestly, kind of horrendous and I feel bad. But I'm confused because a lot of people really like this crochet hook and I'm just wanting to ask them like, are we using the same crochet hook? Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? So for obvious reasons, that has to go in a real crochet because it is a shame. I honestly just feel confused because I'm always wondering like, how am I like the one person that doesn't like this crochet hook? If you don't like it, please let me know so that I feel less alone in this feeling. <laughs> but personally, I don't know what it is. I mean, actually I do know what it is. I told you what it is, but it's just something about it. It's just not for me. And it might be for you and that's okay. And I'd love to know if you really like this hook, like what is it you really like? But yeah, maybe I should give it another try. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's our final tier ranking. And I'd love to know if you were making this tier list, what would you change? Which things you disagree with me on? Which ones do you agree with me on? I'm always curious to know what everyone else's favorite crochet hooks are. Like if I'm weird in some of my opinions or if you guys kind of agree with me. So definitely let me know in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to add to this in the future by including some new crochet hooks or some that I didn't mention. I know I didn't really say anything about wood because personally I'm just not a wood crochet hook girly but I am willing to try them for you guys and get Get back to you on that see if maybe i like them you know now unlikely i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment below your own opinions i'll be responding to you guys and i'm really excited to see those and if you're enjoying my channel it would really mean a lot to me if you subscribe because it really helps me out and i am really loving making these videos and yeah it's just a lot of fun and i'm happy that you guys are enjoying them too if you have any requests or things that you'd like to see from me in the future also let me know in the comments below if you made it this far into the video comment what emoji should you comment comment the yarn emoji so that i know you stuck around for the whole video because it means so much to me seriously i can't even begin to explain 
So that's it for this week. Until next Monday, you guys, happy crocheting. Bye. Bye.